Earth Defense Force 4 is a Japanese recreation of me finding a spider in my shower. While he's learning a valuable lesson about trespassing on private property, I'm gonna remind you that this is your first and only warning that there are giant spiders in this video. Oh god. Back in June of 2017, God decided that Earth was taking up too much disk space in the solar system and chose to uninstall it by hitting select all on his worst creations and heating them into the Earth. Okay, this is a bit much, even for God. Codenamed the Ravagers, these robot alien bug lizards mean business because typically when an invader brings giant lizards and a literal genocide gun, they aren't looking to negotiate. Oh god, you're getting hit with the McDonald's spray! Oh. Thankfully, even the wrath of god is no match for the United States, I mean Earth Defense Force, which usually responds to things that it doesn't understand by carpet bombing them out of existence. It's a bird, it's a plane, oh no, it's Lockheed Martin! But this EDF desperately needs people to pull triggers and call out coordinates, which is where you come in, playing as guy with gun, girl with gun, that can fly, I guess, guy that has no gun, but can call his buddy that has the biggest gun. And last but not least, I try not to look him directly in the eyes. I'm on my perk 30s, bitch. So if you'd like to see mankind attempt to uppercut God and all of his lizards that have absolutely no legal relation to the trademarked creature Godzilla, then I suggest you stick around. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a permit to kill this nondescript lizard. Or you can close the video now and save yourself the headache, because my squad and I may be the very best that the EDF has to offer, but that's not saying much. It's Mormon time. <laughs> Doctor tried to give me Tylenol instead of perks, so I punched him in his fucking face. <laughs> this is what Europeans think American recess is like. <laughs> yes. Don't hide you. This is not a. F <laughs> yeah, don't worry, man. I used to eat a lot of fucking dirt back in the day. We're ready, fellas. <laughs> Yoink! Oh. <laughs> that was so perfectly oh. timed. Second sponsor before this bomb explodes. Gamer subs. Buy my energy drink, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, and use code Badger for 10% off. It's got caffeine, it's got vitamins, it's got minerals. Have you ever mistaken the end of mankind for a practical joke? This prank fucking sucks. My brother in Christ, you are witnessing our extinction. Welcome to EDF 4.1, and I hope you're comfortable because there are 89 missions to go. And all of them involve me getting shoved in the forever box by giant insects. I'm yeah. getting gaggle fucked by a billion ants over here. Yeah, yeah, this is going great. Now. Suck my fucking dick. As fun as an 89 mission lore crusade sounds, EDF is better explained with flow charts. Oh boy, do I ever love flow? Basically, the Ravagers, aka God, throw something at you. You blow his head off, so they throw either a shit ton more of that thing at you, a variant of that thing at you, a bigger version of that thing at you, or make you fight that thing in the dark. Yeah, giant spider's not hard enough. Let's do this shit with our eyes closed. Then once they realize that thing isn't gonna kill you, bang, they throw in the next thing. Sometimes this graduation is logical. Like, oh, you beat all the ants? Well, here come the spiders, fuckface. You calling a satellite on that one spider? Yes. yes. Other times, it's not. Like, oh, you beat all of our robots and lasers? Well, I hope you're ready to fight the entire dragon population of Skyrim. I don't know what's happening anymore. What's <laughs> happening to my brother in Christ? You are the dragon board. Occasionally, the Ravagers break the flow shard and throw some random shit at you like, uh, nondescript lizard. Uh, Don Hector. Uh, dog. What the dog do? What the dog do? It's literally dog crushing an entire metropolis. First comment. What the dog doing? But they can spam all the dipshit lagoon creatures they want because we've got something they'll never have. Yeah! Discretionary spending. In case you're unfamiliar with the final boss of planet Earth known as America, we have a yearly allocation of money approved by our head mage and council of elders, informally known as Defense Department Dima Dollars. These give us the right, but not the obligation, to send any creature on our planet back to God for any reason at any time. You can't parry that shit, you dumbass! So if Ravagers think they can enter American airspace without consequences, I've got 778 billion reasons why they're wrong. I'm done playing with your you ass, ass, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm not playing with you. To remain more accurate, it technically is the Earth Defense Force and not the United States, but it's canonically headquartered in North America and is basically a Japanese flavored NATO. Hey, isn't NATO the one that drone strikes weddings? No, that's the US. That's us. But the US is part of NATO. 
yes, but you can't just blame NATO. I can't believe NATO would do something like that. US, EDF, Kawaii NATO, whatever your preferred pronoun is for the exterminators, we're the ones with the discretionary spending, and I'm about to blow 99% of it on napalm. We're just in the end of a Marlboro right now. This is what goes on inside of a Marlboro cigarette to deliver you maximum fucking flavor. 825 weapons across four different classes are at your disposal, and you can rest assured that 825 of them are fucking stupid. How much damage has Oh, oh, what? The you thruster can damage building. me? I just leveled yeah. half this building. <laughs> this is God. the dumbest fucking weapon on this planet. <laughs> Before picking your stupid weapon, pick your stupid class. Ranger is stupid stupid, wing diver is weird stupid, air raider is stupid overpowered, and fencer is again. Do not look him in the eyes. Every class is a solid pick because the one stupid thing they all have in common is that they're all stupid fun. That's not actually a laser, that's just a big ass physics gun from Gary's mod <laughs> yes. pointed at the earth. <laughs> Ranger is Babby's first EDF class that's essentially man with gun. So if you greet household pests with a barrel of a 12 gauge, this guy is a no brainer. Captain the Snyder in the air, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you like Backblast because you are forced to use a rocket launcher if you're playing on any difficulty higher than Journalist. And the reason why is simple. S to the C to the A-L-E because the Ravagers have been here all of five minutes and they've already smoked half of the human race. <laughs> That's not hyperbole, that's canon. Human race has been destroyed. You've got to remember how big and how many of these things there are. For the majority of the game, you can close your eyes while shooting and suffer zero decrease in accuracy. Why the fuck does EDF even have a crosshair? I don't need this shit. You're facing a mountain of insects every mission, and you move mountains with explosives. Because ARs lack firepower, shotguns lack range, sniper rifles lack rate of fire, and before one of you smartasses says missiles are superior to rockets, they're not. I'm getting my dick munched by a spider every second of every round. I don't have 20 minutes to lock onto a target and another 20 to wait for an explosion. I need that shit low tier god now. I might get it, I might get it, I might get it, I might get it, I might get it. Come on, oh I got it, I got it, he's fucked, don't kill that guy. Sir, uh sir, sir. <laughs> oh my god. So if you want to play Ranger, you've got to be a rocket man. There are just too many fucking bugs for you to use anything else. Oh Seriously, man, guys, man. I'm at my fucking limit. Please stop spawning one. Bring the shotgun secondary is a wise choice because there is a range where rocket launchers should not be deployed. And I'm far enough. I was not far enough. You can get away with using a grenade launcher like the Splash or Stampede, blasting 30 frags per shot, but the odds of you clearing a mission without killing everyone, including yourself, is virtually zero. Let me see how this works. <laughs> I could have oh dirt Oh my god. On the ground. You can be ahead of me all you want. Be my fucking. Guy. I'm not swinging! Yeah, you literally, bitch. bro. <laughs> oh, they all came back. I don't even know where to go now. I'm. I oh god. god. Oh I'm god. Just oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Wing divers are a special forces unit comprised entirely of fictional creatures called women, specifically designed as a secret weapon against giant creatures, which is why they spend all of their time getting clapped by giant creatures. Apart from an arsenal based in laser beams instead of jacketed hollow points, Wing Diver has a massive movement advantage over Ranger that she uses exclusively to get stuck in spider web. But that's okay, it's nothing that a direct impact from an M202 flash can't fix. Rangers lead the way. Also, how are you still alive? If you can avoid playing like an NPC, Wing Diver has the mobility and firepower to vaporize every last bug on this planet. Y'all, yeet. Very big if, though, because much like all women, her armor scaling sucks, so if you don't meticulously manage your ever-depleting energy levels, the insects are gonna snap you in half like a Ritz cracker. She also gets bonus points for her rollerblades and quirky weapons. Hey, yo, Twilight I can Monsters take out a whole bunch if you pick me up. Watch. Oh my god, yeah. it's just what my gun does. Air Raider is the only class that can be played on the highest difficulty while eating a bag of Doritos, and I mean that literally. Friendly airstrike inbound. I love Ranger, I love Wing Diver, but Air Raider is something else. That is like the ultimate form of spawn camping, <laughs> like dog. Much like Q-tips are designed for your ears, Air Raiders aren't designed for damage, but in both cases, I don't care. If you want me to play a support class as a support class, then don't give me a Tomahawk cruise missile as a primary weapon. Where is that missile? Yeah, is it coming down or not? Whoa, oh, that's huge. <laughs> Theoretically, Air Raider is designed to have a vehicle spawn, helpful support item, and sticky bomb launcher for emergency self-defense. <laughs> but again, I don't care what it's designed to do, 
I care about what it can do. I gamble away all of my personal safety in close quarters so that I can triple up on items specifically designed to put stadium-sized craters into the earth. That should help. This should help a lot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and besides, there's no written rule anywhere that I can't use a hammer of dawn at point-blank range. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I will use this as a close quarters weapon. I'm not scared. These weapons are so catastrophically fucking powerful. It is nothing short of an insult to call Air Raider a support class. I'm not here to support the violence. I am the violence. My face when playing a support class. Yup, definitely a support class. Hey, I think I hit it. I hit it. Just, oh my god. <laughs> I hit it. Oh my god. I almost just FPS rushed myself with that spider. <laughs> no matter if it's carbon bombs, orbital lasers, or tomahawk cruise missiles, there's so much damage to be done over such a wide area that the hardest part is not killing all of your teammates and yourself. All right, I guess I'm in. No, 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 the beam, the beam, the beam. No, Go the that beam. way. The oh, beam. shit. <laughs> Why are they already here? Oh, trust me. They're not going to. Oh, you blocked. Lock my throw, Stretchy. Oh, I no. want you to know oh, what no. you've done. We oh, can't no. even escape it now. It's already here. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, my airstrike. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, oh, God. Oh, oh dear okay, God. Okay, okay, okay. I got out. I got out. I got out. Skulker, please stop strafing in my way. That's a laser. You're gonna... Skulker, I don't even fucking care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this brawn is amplified when you combine it with brains, and I was more than happy to show these dipshit insects what that looks like, because the difference between having 200 thousand neurons in your brain and 86 billion neurons in your brain is an airborne flamethrower that even physics is pissed off about. We are learning a valuable lesson about gravity today. I'm not done abusing this chasm of an intelligence gap either, because if you think a flamethrowing helicopter is cruel, just wait until I strap 20 high caliber turrets onto my rotors in a clever maneuver called engineering. <laughs> okay, this should work. Yeah, I'm starting with one. Going oh to two. my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. It's working. <laughs> okay. It's working. Right. Okay. Hold okay. on. Okay. This is tech. This is, this is tech. Mass. We're doing it. We're doing it. This oh is working God. perfectly. <laughs> this is working perfectly. Oh. How? How? Shit. How? Oh. <laughs> but the best feature of Air Raider is not his helicopters or his airstrikes or even his orbital laser that can make any crab based enemy dance like a stick bug. Oh, you can make what was that? <laughs> it, is like the, it feels like that stick bug dancing. <laughs> it's stick bug. What the? F <laughs> Look at this shit. He disappears. <laughs> it's the Gundam, which they call a balam, but we're punching nondescript Japanese lizards in the face here. It's a Gundam. Uh oh, it's going super uh -oh. sick. Uh oh, it's going nondescript power up. You can spawn this thing nonstop if you kill enough baddies, and I'm not gonna say it's better than Erginus, which is their name for the giant lizard. Damn, he hit me once, and I lost two thirds of my health. Oh god, oh god, oh god, all of my health just fucking disappeared. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Suddenly, big robot does not <laughs> seem as good. That That's lizard took piece. one sip of the McDonald's Sprite and I was done. But it's your best shot at knocking this oversized iguana flat on his ass. And apart from skipping the knockdown animation by spamming the taunt animation, this thing is completely self explanatory. Accelerate your mass to maximize the force of the impact. Just punch him in the face. I don't have the legal permission to say that I killed the trademarked creature Godzilla, but there were several hundred reptiles harmed in the making of this video. The only thing stronger than this monster is Japanese copyright lawyers. Harry this, you stupid fucking lizard. <laughs> Me punching a lizard in the God damn! <laughs> I landed an 86 hit combo. He hits one haymaker and I just fucking die. No, the McDonald's Sprite. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Get your back on my combo. <laughs> Look at this shit. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, are you ready? Guinness is down and out. Just that bitch. It's lying on the items. And how could I forget the fourth and final clap? <laughs>
Spencer is just ridiculous. And we just got done with Air Raider, who makes Dick Cheney seem like a nice guy. So I don't even know where to start with him. Literally a Gundam with two box cutters that's, <laughs> that's going up against the entirety the of the insects in Florida. He's supposed to be the heavy class with extreme firepower and jacked armor at the expense of turtle slow movement speed. There I'm may be like, some yeah, civilian yeah. casualties, but that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. But by exploiting his dash cancel mechanic, you can make him the fastest class in the game. If done correctly, even Wing Diver can't keep up with him. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think heavy classes are supposed to work this way. Which means he's super tanky, super powerful, super fast, and he's got twice as many weapons as everybody else but Air Raider. This guy even specializes in melee combat. I don't know who the fuck sees giant insects swarming a city and says to themselves, Oh boy, I better grab my hammer. Cowabunga it is. The Vulcan hammer is like a nuclear bomb on a stick. You have failed the vibe check. I just don't play him, because spamming shift and space all round to maximize his wave dash gives me arthritis, so I leave that shit to Heavenly or her Boku. They both had fencers so power leveled that inviting them to my party was like typing SV underscore cheats one into console. Yo, if aliens are real- I was about to ask you, is that gun good? <laughs> Alright, get your glasses ready. <laughs> Wait a minute! No, my graphics card stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! I am this crossing is... my fingers! <laughs> oh, I live! Nope. Oh, the risk of that weapon game. is not friendly fire, it's that it will crash your game to desktop. <laughs> For a second there, Herboku, I became that meme of that dude sitting in a fast food restaurant just glowing orange. <laughs> No matter the class you choose, progression is the same, and grind doesn't even begin to describe it. Grind. Each class is entirely separate, so leveling up one does absolutely nothing to another, and you don't level up per se, you just get better shit. Picking up red crates increases your armor stat. Picking up green crates gives you a random weapon. Tutorial complete. Ta-da! It's a grind, but it's a fun grind, because the more you build your armor and weapon stack, the more you can play on higher difficulties. Almost light mass fire. <laughs> hey man, what's that hard mode like? And the top tier weapons you earn later on are 100% worth the effort. Every class has at least something outrageous. The rule of God is incoming. What's the blast radius on this bitch? Yes. <laughs> That's that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now That's I it. know what you meant by the blast radius is <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Making it to the end of the campaign will grant you the honor of killing God, or at least blowing up his brain, in a level that consists of every laser ever created being beamed into your eyes. Lasers aren't real! Don't bother trying to understand it, because I fully comprehend every bit of the story, and that shit doesn't add up. Hey, we got the queen! It's like, uh, did you get the queen or a queen? Good thing it doesn't matter, because EDF 4.1 The Shadow of New Despair is one of the greatest arcade games I've ever played. It's worth the 20 demon dollars, and playing it with my friends made it downright unforgettable. Holy shit, you <laughs> fucking clown, bro. <laughs> oh, they're behind us. fucking read? Me McAfee. and the remodeled McDonald's adding select all ingredients to my burger. <laughs> <laughs> what about that mother motherfucker 43? <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, uh, yes, the ultimate trait in a sniper rifle, a glaring lack of accuracy threats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you zigged when you should have zagged, my boy. I've seen an entire cluster of ants move a rock before. Not a big rock, but like a decent sized pebble for ants. I saw them pick up Nebraska. Just before I go, shout out to Always Has Been and Ludex for making the kick-ass map that you saw in this video, Magic for helping me fix some of the bones on some of the models, and most of all, you. Shout out you for letting me borrow your eyeballs for 20 minutes. But if you want to do me a super, super big solid, please buy some Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. It is a real energy drink, it's not a joke, and it happens to be the greatest energy drink in the universe, but don't buy it for that reason. Reason. Buy it because I make money off of it, and I always need more money. Do it for that reason, and do it for me. After watching that back for a second, I kind of sounded like a psychopath for a split second there, but don't worry about it. That's not really me. Shit, it could be. I don't know. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>